John Fitzgerald, I work for Channel 7 and uh, I'm the former Davis Cup captain of Australia. I think it's got probably the best potential of the tournament so far. They had a, they had a great match here last year. Uh, they, they had a great one at the US Open. And I think Stan Varanka is a bit of a sleeping possibility in this tournament. I think he's reaching the, the opportunity now for the best form of his career because of his age, his strength, um, and his experience. And I, I think he's ready to do something. He may well play his best, best tennis in the next 12 to 18 months. It remains to be seen if he's good enough to win a major, but if he's ever going to win one, I think it'll be in the next two years anyway. Novak has been the best performed player in Australia over the last half a dozen years. He's three-time defending champion right now, and he's won it four times. So he loves these conditions, has played probably his best tennis year almost. And uh, look, I think it's a bit of belief. I think uh, you need a bit of luck to beat the great players, and he is a great player, Djokovic. So Stan needs to play at his best for a prolonged period of time and maybe get a bit of luck at the right time. I don't think he's without a chance. Well, I imagine that Novak would be very wary of Stan. I mean, they both had fairly easy runs. You know, the hot weather didn't really affect them. They both got through uh, sort of um, unaffected, I think. Uh, some short matches. So they're both fresh. The guys that can win major tournaments, I think, need to be fresh after the first week. And quite often, the best players, the great players, win a lot of their first week matches comfortably, more comfortable than uh, some of the lower ranked players, and therefore, they don't have that accumulative effect of, of wearing out over, over the first week. So if they can get to the second week fresh, they can really launch their attack on the whole tournament. But having said all of that, you know, Stan is a great player himself. I think he's got the game to really mix it with the best and I reckon he's about to play the best tennis of his career in the next 80 months. So I think he's got a chance. Novak's favourite.